Hello. Miss Cooter B is insane. I'm never gonna finish this in time, girl. I can't. Yeah, oh my gosh. Like, Mrs. Cooterby, she is crazy. Like, she gave me homework for an entire week just for one day. Well, if you see a zombie at school tomorrow, just know it's me because Miss Cooterby's homework kept me up all night. Okay, I gotta go because I gotta finish all this. Okay, bye. Good luck. Have fun. Okay, bye. Oh no, I'm hungry. I don't have time to go fix anything. Hmm. Oof. I wonder what the lid tastes like. Mmm. Tastes just like a ripe crab apple. Oh my god, Mrs. Cooter be stung me with her stinger. Hey glitter critters, it's Breland here. I am gonna be showing you how to make edible Sharpie markers. So don't forget to subscribe to become an official glitter critter so you'll never miss another weird video like this one. So I just wanna thank our sponsor of this video today, Best Fiends. Yes, this video is hashtag spawns. This game is so much fun, it is so addicting. Best Fiends is a puzzle battle battle game with tons of characters that you can collect and you can build teams with these characters to help battle the slugs. And oh my goodness, there are so many levels to this game. And there's also special side quests based on the most popular players. So Best Fiends is giving away a free gift for Father's Day, which is today, June 19th. Happy Father's Day to everybody. And this is to celebrate all of the dads out there. So make sure you download best fiends and play the game to receive your free gift for Father's Day. All the links will be at the top of the description below. Also, if you already have best fiends, let me know in the comments what level you're on right now. Right now, I'm on level 67. I'm having a little trouble getting past that level. Let's see if maybe you could beat me. Can you get past that level? I'd definitely love to know, and I'd love to know if you are past that level. It is absolutely free to download. This is basically like a giant Best Fiends collab. So in this collab, we have Timmy Tomato, Princess Tomato, Alejandro Valdez, Bradley Wanamaker, Chrissy from Glamour Life Fox, Sophia Style, Haley Williams, Jesse Page, and Nicole Skies. So right now we are all like battling it out against each other and we're trying to see like who can get the highest score and like get to the highest level in the game. So make sure you follow us to see who wins. Make sure you go and you check out their videos. All of their videos will be linked at the top of the description below along with the link to Best Fiends. Make sure you download it and also go and watch their videos. Let's get started. There's actually multiple ways you can make your Sharpie markers edible, so I'm gonna be showing you three ways. This first way is actually a really funny way to prank your friends in class and make them think you're actually drawing on your tongue with a real Sharpie marker. So I got some of these food markers from a craft store. You can find these at any craft store and I just removed the outside graphics with some acetone. Next, I took black and white acrylic paint and mixed up some Sharpie marker gray paint. Paint. I keep saying paint and then I just use that to paint the outside of the food marker and look at it It's already starting to look like a real sharpie marker So next I decided to customize the food marker lid by clipping off one of the little clips on a real sharpie marker lid And then I just hot glued it to the edible food marker lid So this way I could just paint the lid and it'll look just like a real sharpie marker lid the food marker lid is actually the shape of a real Sharpie marker, so it's gonna be really hard for anyone to tell from far away that this isn't a real Sharpie marker. So to really step up my prankster game, because I'm so cool that I have game, actually the only game that I have is Yahtzee, and it's really old from the 90s. Ugh, that's depressing. Anyways, all I did was printed out some Sharpie logos onto this clear sticker paper and stuck it on. So for this next edible Sharpie marker method, this is the obvious choice. This is how I did my edible pencils. I just took some amazing mold putty, mixed it up, and I molded it around a real Sharpie marker. This way I can really get the shape and create my own mold and I can pour the chocolate or stuff the chocolate into the mold. What I mean by stuff 
stuff is like most of the time this chocolate becomes very dough like so I like to just stuff it into the mold I put it in the freezer and this is the result now the little clip part didn't come out right so I took some more of that play-doh like chocolate and I just made my own so now for one of my favorite parts and that's using my edible food sprays I know I'm obsessed with these I use the silver for the bottom I kind of wish I would have colored the chocolate gray it would have made my life so much easier so I recommend that and then I had to take some icing and food coloring and make that gray sharpie marker color for the lid I just used a white icing with green food coloring and that's it adding a logo to this is totally optional I just used the same clear sticker paper logo so now for the jello version now this one was a little more difficult all I did was I took one and a half cups of cold water and two boxes of Knox gelatin and I bloomed it into the water I microwaved the gelatin for 30 seconds until it was nice and transparent and then I added some black and white icing mixed it up to make that sharpie gray it kind of came out a grayish violet color I mean it, it came out gray enough for me and then for the smell and the taste and the flavor I'm using some of this strawberry flavoring you can find this in the baking aisle and for the lid of the sharpie marker I had to make it hot pink with some hot pink funfetti icing so because these were two different colors I had to cut the chocolate mold in half and then like tape the sides to make sure none of the gelatin got out I put it in the freezer and it came out really cute like I realize it doesn't look that real but it was so much fun making a jelly sharpie marker for the sharpie logo I just recommend you draw it on with a food marker don't forget to subscribe to become an official glitter cutter and let me know in the comments what do you think I should make edible next time also don't forget to download best fiends and go watch my friends videos all those links will be in the description below thanks for watching and have a glitterful day I love you bye